To know where the market is going, not only do you have to look at numbers, employers, what's happening in the market, etc., but I always suggest to go physically and be there and look and ask. I remember I saw an opportunity in a commercial building in Pasadena. We were doing a seminar close by. We come out to drive and we saw all these nice buildings and one vacant. So I said, oh, this is going to be fun. I want to take a look. So I went over and I started asking the other tenants. I said, hey, who, who's the manager here? Oh, she's the manager. I went over, how are you doing? She said, good. I said, oh, you have a nice store here. And when you talk to somebody, to instantly, to instantly connect with them, play to the movie in their head. Everybody has a movie playing in their head. What movie would a retail store manager is play, playing in her head? Is I gotta have staff, I gotta have merchandise, I gotta make sure everything's working, I gotta balance my, I gotta zero in the machine at the end of the day, I gotta make sure the store is clean. So I tell her, this is a great store here that you're running. How long have you been in the business? Am I playing to what's in her head, yes or no? Yes. She goes, oh, I've been 17 years in the business. I was genuinely surprised because she looked young. I said, wow, you started so young. She goes, yes, I've been in the business a long time. And we do well here. I said, oh, good. Now I know if they do well, that location next door that's vacant is going to attract another big tenant. You're with me? I said, but where do people park? I said, this street is so busy. I, I mean, if I park here to shop, I'm going to get a ticket after one hour. And she goes, oh, you haven't seen behind here? They're building a six-story parking. They just, they're going to finish it next month. Oh my gosh, how valuable is this? This is like an open mall in Pasadena. And so, so everything is aligned. So you get information by connecting with people and getting the info. So then I called and they wanted to sell the property for $3 million. They wanted to sell it based on the future number when it gets the tenant. I said, well, why? Well, because it's going to bring X in tenant in rental income. I said, well, when you get the tenant, I'll pay you the three million, but I'm buying it vacant. So all I can offer you now is a million and a half. And he said, well, I can present it, but I'm sure the seller is not going to accept it. I said, well, how do you know? Have you talked to the seller? He said, oh, they're very wealthy and they don't mind waiting another year. Well, that's not the motivated seller. That's not exactly going to be the best deal in the world, right? You with me?